Hi guys, this is uh, Lance from Switzerland. I'm going to show you in this tutorial on how to use uh, Dwarf Therapist. Dwarf Therapist is a tool that is um, making your life much easier by uh, telling you on what your dwarfs can and what your dwarfs are actually doing and uh, how to give them certain jobs. Um, you start Dwarf Therapist over the lazy new pack, you double click on Dwarf Therapist and there you go. All right, I'm gonna go over the interface real quick. Um, what you can see here is how many dwarfs you have, and uh, you can see how many pending changes you have. You are actually setting up all your changes, and then you commit them at once. I go into that a little bit later, and um, you see basically your uh, dwarfs here. Uh, the most important thing: I have 13 dwarfs. They're all listed here, and above are all the labors listed. That's the stuff they can do. That's the stuff. Um, um, that's that's all the professions that are in the game. And uh, there are labors. There are military skills like uh, axe dwarf, hammer dwarf, spear dwarf, whatever. And uh, there are social skills as well. Um, you can see that some of these skills. Um, are grayed out, um, especially social. These are passive skills. You cannot level them actively um, or uh, enable them in that sense. You can level them if the if the people are doing something that is using it, but you cannot um, activate them here. You cannot tell your dwarf to do it actively here. The same goes for military. Um, they are going to increase that stuff by training it, but they are not actually told to be an axe dwarf or to be a spare dwarf. To do that, you have to equip them with the corresponding weapon, um, but we're not going to go into that. That is way too soon, because right now we're not going to have a military um, in a pretty soon uh, time. So, we go back to the labor screen, which is the most important for you right now, and you see that, um, for instance, um, Logam Avzudalsad is a, a miner. He has a raw level of 11, that's uh, pretty good, he's a great miner, and um, he gains actually experience from mining into the mountain. He's right now at the 11,440 XP and he needs 12,600 to rise another level. What you see also is that he's not doing anything else. I just click on his name and you can see there's nothing else that he does except for mechanics and architecture. I deactivated on him everything that's connected to hauling. All this um, light gray stuff here is connected to hauling. It's stone hauling, wood hauling, and so forth. The reason why I did this is I don't want him to be disturbed. I want him to dig into the mountain and not haul everything from A to B. There are other dwarves that can do that. I want him to focus on mining solely. The same goes for the woodcutter. This is a tip if you um, embark at the start you should uh, fire up Dwarf Therapist and your Dwarf that has a woodcutting ability you should go all the way over here and deny him to do any wood hauling. You can do that by clicking on it and then it's going to be deactivated. I have uh, done that already and uh, the reason for that is if he is um, cutting wood and he has to haul the wood he's going to be much 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 slower because he's always doing the way from cutting the wood bringing it to the stockpile and vice versa um, then instead chopping the wood and telling someone else to haul the wood like this he's just chopping down trees in a uh, in a very fast manner and other people are just hauling the wood that's going to fill your storage or your, your stockpile with wood much faster than if he holds all this stuff back um, so this is one practical use of uh, Dwarf Therapist and you can do that for all the other stuff as well. Now if I uh, need something to be done very fast, like let's say I need uh, a lot of wood in a very short time for whatever reason, I can enable multiple people to do that, right? I'm gonna set Ablel, Degel, Edem, Eshton and Logam from before to cut some wood. Now I can enable these labors right now on these dwarves. But the problem is there are two problems with that. I need, for woodcutters, I need an axe. It doesn't matter whether it's a battle axe or a regular axe or whatever, they're gonna take any axe to chop down wood. So while I will activate this labor, they cannot fulfill the job because as soon as I'm telling them to chop down wood, they try to get an axe but they don't find one, so it just says, cannot find an item, I'm blocked or whatever, I cannot fulfill it. 
And the other thing here with Logam is, if you go up here and see Logam, if I click on woodcutting, his mining will be deselected. The reason for that is simple. If he picks up an axe to do some woodcutting, he has to drop his pickaxe because he cannot equip both. So I gotta be careful with that because I don't want that so I just deactivate him as a woodcutter and I just leave the other guys and I'm assuming right now that I have like five battle axes or whatever and if I just um, I, if I'm happy with all these changes I can click here on commit pending changes if I just want to revert them I just click on clear pending changes as long as I'm not clicking on commit pending changes there's nothing happening nothing has happened in your game as long as, as soon as I do this everything is done and it's in the game already. You can do that while the game is running, that's no problem. And if you want to have a real-time update on what your guys are really doing right now, you can click on Read Dwarfs and the symbols here will change if your game is running in the background. One last thing, you can group your dwarfs here. I group my dwarfs normally by squad. This is especially helpful if you have a military, so you can separate the civilian dwarfs from the military dwarfs. But for you, at the start, it is um, much more important to see who has joined recently and you can do that by group by migration wave which is here you click on it migration wave and then you see the wave one which is the the uh, the wave that we marked with has seven dwarfs these are my dwarfs seven ones and these are the six guys that just joined us so I can separate them from this and I only have to check these six now uh, on what I want uh, want them to do on what job and everything so if there is ever a workshop or something that is not operated because it says needs uh, some labor and you, you don't have that or no one is doing the job you go into Dwarf Therapist you search for the labor you activate it on one or more persons commit pending changes done that's all the magic there is to it. Um, you can pretty much control on how many farmers you want to have on your fields. You can uh, check on how many brewers you want to have. And uh, this is a great way to, um, to sort out all your errors if there is something going wrong. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, pretty much it. Use this tool. It's a great tool. And if you have any questions, please uh, post them down into the commentary section down below. Thank you.